Welcome to the Risk Forever channel guys, channel which shares the most relevant tips and tricks on how to win at risk, and improve your rank in no time. Subscribe to the channel and you won't even see how fast you will become so much better at risk. Push that notification bell to see new videos first. This is your host champion ever. And today we are playing 4 player fixed card game on classic risk map. Settings, Alliance is on. Balance Blitz dice rolls in 60 seconds per turn. This time I'm playing on my alternative account called Annette Alvarez 11, Master Rank at the time of recording. And my opponents are 3 Master Rank players as well, Yellow, Green and Blue. Blue's name seems to be familiar, right? Do you recognize it? Yeah, that's right. It seems to be the same kamikaze player which I punished by giving him the last place in one of my recent games. And yet he joined my game again, la la la. So yeah, I'm really wondering how this game will turn out to be, as always, select one of the players and root for them. Are you team yellow, green, blue or red? If you have chosen the green player, then I have some new bad news for you fella. The green player has already disconnected and left the game. She wanted to go for Australia, but the blue player drastically crushed her there. And since she know the golden wisdom of no Australia, no win, she accepted her destiny the way it is. She knew that not having Australia, she was guaranteed to lose the game, so she decided not to waste her time any further and just simply quit the game. But seriously guys, why didn't she go for South America? Yeah, some crazy players will fight with you for a continent, but even if you get swiped out from that continent, the game isn't being over for you. You can still go for another continent, or at the worst case put your troops to one big army somewhere in a neutral place of the map and do turtling while waiting for the opportunities. But yeah, free ranking points for the rest of the players, so thank you very much Green. Well, I would just like to hope that she isn't choosing the scummiest strategy ever by disconnecting and then reconnecting after multiple turns, hoping that meanwhile the players will crush each other and let the bot grow strong. So after reconnecting she would wipe the alive players easily. Well, let's hope she disconnected for real. Anyways, European turtle strategy here I come. I made the alliance with both of the players, so I think I should be good. But who knows, we'll see guys, Europe is the continent which gives even 5 extra troops, so the players might not like the fact that I've got it and decide to invade me. But if not, then I will become the strongest player and it will give me some of the advantage against them. Well not anymore, as the yellow player has just captured South America, so with already having Africa, he will be getting the same 5 extra troops as me as well. And that's not too good, as he is already quite stronger than me. But the good news is that the green player get eliminated, meaning that she won't be able to come back to the game. And wow wow wow! guess who just captured North America? That's right. It's our beloved blue player. But the question is whether it was a great decision to expand so fast. Whether he will be able to successfully hold it. And the answer depends on the players, on me and yellow. Personally as of now I'm not going to attack the blue player. As first of all the yellow player is quite stronger than us, basically has the same number of troops as me and blue combined. Second of all the blue player has a very weak defense, two of his borders are not guarded at all, and in Australia he only has 12 troops. So he could be invaded any second we want. And third of all, the blue player is keep pushing the pressure on yellow, when do not worry about me at all, so it would be just dumb for me to attack him when I see that he might crush the yellow player. And fourth of all, I potentially know what type of player he is. I remember what happened the last time we played, so I should be very careful not to annoy him too much, as he might go nuts on me. So I will rather be very passive in this game. And oh no, the yellow player has just broken the alliance with me. And I'm not sure why. Well, probably because I don't attack the blue player. But the yellow player doesn't attack blue as well. But I mean it would be the biggest mistake of my life to attack the blue player right now, as instead of pressuring yellow, the blue player might decide to pay the attention to me. So it's not a great deal for me at all. 
by attacking blue I would just make the dirty work for the yellow player, saving his life when potentially sacrificing my own one, if the blue player would decide to suicide on me. And the balance of the game is still sustained anyways, the blue player doesn't get as many troops as I and yellow player combined. So when I see what there's a conflict going on between yellow and blue, well at least coming from the blue player, I will rather stay neutral for as long as I can. And OMG, OMG guys. I cannot believe that the yellow player has finally made the first step to attack blue. The blue player won't be happy about that for sure. I'm wondering how will he react. And wow wow wow. That is so nice. The biggest yellow's army has been crushed. But yeah, the blue player definitely shouldn't have attacked anything else for sure. As now if you take a look at the troops counter, then you see that I have more troops than both of them combined. So the game is over. The balance of the game has been officially broken. So as you can see I'm not being dumb and just straightly attacking both of them to the continents, I'm not leaving my army blocked in Europe as well, that would be the biggest mistake of my life if I left it there. So yeah anyways guys, you probably know what is going to happen for both of these players. That's right, I will just simply take both of them out. And most likely in a single turn. Well not likely, but absolutely if I have enough time. Poor, very poor players attempts to still do something. They tried to team up on me. But let's be real, they couldn't have done anything. So yeah. Since the blue player was the one who has broken the balance of the game, I'm taking him out first, it will be the most fair. Of course I really like the fact that the blue player's drastic attacks have given away me the game. But I have to imagine myself in yellow shoes as well, I would be really mad if the game was ruined like that by another player drastically crushing his troops like that at the same time totally breaking the balance of the game. So yeah. The yellow player is definitely deserved to be awarded more than the blue player, there's no doubt. But anyways, good game you all. Let's just check my rank right quick. Looks nice, I'm getting closer. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, then I would recommend checking some of these out as well. Watching more videos will help you to progress so much faster.